EO was cracking, guys. You read that title correctly. No, you really did. Jasmine gets a BBL without telling Gino. Oh no, we need to make sure. Let's let's see. Hopefully they show us it. I used to think BBL meant boobs, butt, and lips because usually that's what they all get done at once. I think that makes more sense than Brazilian butt lift. I've never um, touched a BBL to my knowledge, so I'm not sure if I like them. But what I know I don't like is when the ass just comes out and it doesn't connect to the thighs. When you're just like, that's not part of a human. You paid for that. I read somewhere that a lady went to go get a BBL done somewhere in a different country and she woke up with a missing kidney. (laughs) Kind of funny. But I'm supremely curious. Is he going to get mad about this? Why wouldn't you just squat? How much money are you making? Let's uh, find out, shall we? Okay, let's go to the bar! Back off, back off, can't touch me, ass off. Ass off, take it to the bar! Oh my God, stop. Imagine being around somebody this age. Even at 28, if somebody was like, let's keep partying, I'd be like, shut up. It's two o'clock in the morning, I want to go to sleep. Is that a penis? That That is the funniest looking penis I've ever seen. Gino let you have a bachelorette party? That's crazy. He's so insecure, I'm surprised he's not like, I need to be there, okay? Make sure you're not doing any horror stuff. Party, party! All right, 30 seconds in and nothing has happened. Since she's with a group of chicks, every time they show one, I'm going to just yell out a number and that's what I'm going to rate them out of 10 and I can't use a seven because that's a cop out. Six means good, eight means bad, seven means you're being nice. Four and two, four and two for sure, easily. Three. Six. So I've been dieting and exercising like crazy, but the problem is that because I lost a lot of weight. Eight, never mind, it's an eight. Woo, can't even tell if she has a face or not. That included the little butt that I had. One of the few things that Gino compliments me is like, oh my gosh, your fat ass, I love it. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? It's It's gone, so I got butt implants. Gina would literally say that to you? I could never imagine Gina going, oh, I love your fat ass. Oh, shit, that fat ass on top of the saddle. It's not a beard, it's a saddle, baby. Just don't take my hat off. I like how they worded the title, though. Jasmine gets a BBL without telling Gino. As if he's not gonna love this. And now my ass is so round and peachy. It's just... Why were they blurring out her ass cheeks? Why'd y'all do that to me, bruh? Y'all had to fucking ruin my day like that? Is that on her Instagram? Perfect. <laughs> I see why Gino's letting her go out. He's not arguing with her because he, she's going out with some dogs. You know, no guys are walking up to this friend group. Gino no sabe que vamos a el trasero. No! Four and a half. No se lo he dicho. Five and a half, potentially a six. Except she does have two birds of a feather flock together tattoos, so actually she's a three. Gino estaba dándome, o sea, como una mesada, pues, para mi vestido de boda. I hope that's a translation issue. You shouldn't be saying your husband gives you an allowance. Anyway, what's the uh, allowance? I think every man would be happy if you spent the allowance on a butt lift instead of a dress you're going to wear for eight hours. Just walk out in a tank top and booty shorts for your wedding. Everybody would be much happier. No. <laughs> yeah, <it's> a- <laughs> exact, though. That's exactly what I said. God, I should be there. Would they really notice if I took the place of one of these ugly women? <laughs> if you think I'm being mean, I am. Read the about for this channel. Okay. I wish, you know, were more appreciative of all the effort that I put into being pretty. Where's your kids that you have? <laughs> it just hit me. I'm like, oh, wait, she has children in another country. And you would never think that. Mom, I need more books for school. No, I got the butt lift essay. 
my hair, my nails, my laser hair removal that he loves. By the way, he likes hairless. Yes, so do you. Don't be all like he doesn't like when my pussy's furry. You don't like when he has pubic hair either, okay? Nobody likes pubic hair. If I was about to fuck a girl and she had pubic hair, I wouldn't complain, wouldn't care. I'd prefer it to not be there. However, I'm just happy to be there. But you know why he doesn't appreciate all the stuff you do to keep yourself pretty? Because everything you mentioned is so expensive. Hot women are so expensive to keep up. Nails, lashes, laser. And those aren't like one-time things. Those are like every month or more. I'm getting PTSD right now. <laughs> one time, one of my exes, uh, she was going to get her nails done when I was living in Chicago. And she's like, yeah, can you drive me there? I was like, for sure. I put it in the GPS, and it was on the south side of Chicago. I was like, you can't, you can't just be doing that. But that means spending money. God, I'm so good at this. <laughs> and Gino is cheap. So I was basically forced to spend the money that he had been giving me for my wedding dress and bought implants. I'm trying to like really put myself in his shoes, but he sucks. People used to comment about how he had money. Now usually people will comment about how he used to have money. Told you. <laughs> people were saying he got rich off of crypto. Yeah, that's like a one and done deal. He doesn't know how to make money. He's not financially literate. But I think any guy would be like, if you got it done behind their backs, so they're like, oh, you're not getting a wedding dress? But you said that's what you wanted. I believed that. What else are you lying about? Did she get that butt for me or for Instagram? It's all gone. I'm sitting on it right now. <laughs> oh, you spend every fucking penny on it? Oh, boy. You didn't leave 500 over for just a, sh a shitty dress. You're like, let's just put a future speed bump in this relationship. It's over. There's 20 seconds left on the clock. Let me take another shot. Sorry, I just got distracted by your amazing YouTube comments. I love you guys. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, BBL. Um, huh. I want to know, did he notice right away? Did she walk in and he was like, yeah, damn. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is all that? You need a fucking beeping noise when you back up. Holy shit. Uh, I guess comment down below what you think. This didn't have any drama. We haven't seen drama on this channel in like three episodes. And I'm getting kind of pissed. I want to see others having a bad time. I think it will probably cause problems um, because she spent all of the money she was supposed to use on a wedding dress. I feel like you guys should have, as um, a, an entity you're about to become, should have both figured out the budget so you could get both. Like, what guy's going to argue with that? You want a cheaper dress, but butt implants? Get the fuck out of here. I feel like most guys would be like, no, yeah, that's exact that's what I was thinking. Holy shit. We have so much in common. Because every guy thinks an expensive wedding dress is stupid. When you get to fuck her in it once, and then she hangs it up and gets fat, great. Not like she'll ever fit into that shit again. She's eating pizza every night after the wedding. Sorry, I'm projecting again. Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate you so fucking much. Yo, did you know that I do stand-up comedy and post every single set on my second channel, youtube.com slash Markarski? I actually have a show coming up on the 18th of October and the 9th of November. So I'll give you guys the location of that if you're in Illinois, if you guys want to see that shit. But I actually have a series called The Comedian that follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. Like, you get to see open mic one up until about April I'm posting right now. I try to post one to three episodes of The Comedian a week, which shows the entire set, and then I podcast breaking down how the set went. I don't think anybody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before, and I think people might be interested, like, what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. Right now, I'm in the part of stand-up where it's boring, which sounds insane. Even getting on stage, I'm just like, here we go again. It's just like the same thing over and over at these same places. So I'm going to try and switch up where I go, maybe go downtown and finally try to start getting on some shows. I've never asked to be on a show yet, so that would probably spice things up. But I think this is the spot where like a lot of people quit or people get weeded out or they plateau. But you got to find a way to get out of the open mic grind of these same shitty open mics because i was at one sunday and i was like wow if i didn't have a show wednesday i would not be here right now because like going to a place with no audience where nothing 
will work no matter what is brutal. So I think it's interesting to like see this and then I'll be talking about like what I'm going through and stuff like that. Because I've never heard a comedian talk about like this part of stand up with all of the comedy I've watched, like all the podcasts, all the interviews and shit. So I think through doing this documentation, I'm going to find a lot of insight and stuff that maybe others haven't touched on or might have forgot. So if you want to see some shit like that, youtube.com slash Mark Karski. But if you can't or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.